Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Raiden's Pokemon Sacred Gold Wedlock Challenge. Last time we went through the Union Cave, Route 33, and did a quick stop in the Ilex Forest and got a bunch of encounters uh, that I'm all very excited about. Uh, we got Aron, Ekans, Mudkip, and Murkrow. So today's episode, what I want to do is I want to take on the Team Rocket storyline in the Slowpoke well. How do you feel about that, Balsa? Alright, Balsa's feeling pretty good about that. Ooh, what's this guy doing up here? Oh, he used to be a thief. No, 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 no. Thievery isn't always bad. Okay, Robin Hood. Okay, so we get the TM for, uh... Thief. I feel really bad for blanking on that right there. Uh... I don't know if I want to teach anyone that right now, but it's worth looking if anyone can. Uh, yeah. Nothing really spectacular there. I, I don't want to be in options right now. I want to grab this Apricorn. The Wit Apricorn. Alright. So in order to get the Team Rocket storyline going, we have to talk to this guy. Hmm, where are you? Forrest, hey, you want me to make some balls? Sorry, that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Eh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's some cartel that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago when their boss got sued for tax evasion. Anyways, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. Most likely to try and make some money to pay for court... F to pay for legal fees and maybe to bribe the IRS. I don't know. I'm gonna go give them a lesson in pain. And I don't mean legally. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. How that guy moves as fast as he does in his old age is beyond me. Uh, but actually, before I go down there, I want to grab a couple things from here. So I can get a couple of net balls, uh, which is nice, because I know there's a number of water types in the Slowpoke Well, which is going to be my next encounter spot. All right, uh, I'll grab a couple super potions. I'll grab a couple of antidotes. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm blowing all my cash right now. <laughs> Alright, and I got a package from Mom, and it's Kazib Berries. Okay. Uh, are those the Psychic Resist Berries? Ghost, okay. So, yeah, still kind of useless right now. Alright. So, let's get down into the well. Hey there, Forrest. Gert up top took off when I shouted at him. And by shouted, I mean kicked him in the face down the well. But then I took a tumble down the well myself. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punched them. And by my Pokemon, I mean my fists. I can't be helped. Forrest! Go show them how gutsy you are in my place. Go beat the snot out of them. Um, how about I just beat him in a Pokemon battle, Kurt? No, I want you to beat the snot out of them. Um... What do I want to try and do first? Do I want to try and get my encounter now? Yeah. Let's try for the encounter now. Alright, so my encounter for the Slowpoke Well is not that. So I already caught a Zubat, that counts as dupe number one. I get five duplicates in any area and then that area is just forfeit. I don't get an encounter there. Alright. Alright. It's a shell off. No. That's... Nah, that's a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I have nothing against 
Shellos slash Gastrodon. I I used Gastrodon in a in a mid season VGC twenty twenty team. The problem is is Shellos and Gastrodon are kinda bad in generation four, where Storm Drain doesn't give a water type immunity. Uh and especially where I also have Mudkip just sitting in my PC box, Shellos is kind of useless. Uh, what do I want to nickname this thing? Um, hmm. I'm just gonna call her Juniper. Uh, I don't really have any particular reason. Uh, it's just a name that's on my list that, you know. I look at the other stuff, and I can't really think of anything better for Shellos. Uh, we'll go take a look at her later. For now, we've got some Rocket Grunts to fight. I want to say that this guy leads with something like a Zubat, or maybe it's coughing, and I'm just mistaken? I... I don't remember. But this was the guard that got kicked down the well. Well, okay... I at least got the color right, you know. So what if it's a Rattata versus a Zubat or a Coughing, you know? Rattata, Zubat, you know, they're kind of the same thing. They're both purple and everywhere. Mostly where you don't want to see them. You know, it's... Okay. If you had the option to send out Zubat or another Pokemon against a Pachirisu, why on earth would you send out a Zubat? Because I'm going to assume that his other Pokemon is not Zubat. Because from what I remember, most Rocket Grunts are pretty good about having different Pokemon on each of the same people. Now they all are using Zubats and Rads and Coughings and Grimers. Yeah, especially, like, there's no reason to use Zubat over Ekans against an electric type. It's like, no wonder Giovanni leaked his tax documents. Uh, but this should be nice and easy for Nootka with Mudshot here. Gotta say, that is so nice having Mudshot on a water type like this. Rude. Oh, and this is back when paralysis was borderline broken. <laughs> it's like, yes, we want something that drops stats and has a chance to not move and has 100% accuracy with this. And hey, you know, to make it better, let's let's throw it on thunderous. Oh, those were the days. Good old Thunderous. Said no one ever. Alright. Uh, wait. I, I have just a regular potion. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need anything super for Nootka right now. Alright. I'm just gonna throw these two up front for Intimidate. Uh, try and run into fewer encounters. Ooh, no. I can just go around this way. Okay, on the one hand, I would have loved Snorunt. Uh, but I also would have been very mad if I had gotten a male Snorunt. Um, I, I really dislike Glalie. I just think it's a really boring Pokemon to look at. I mean, it's it's just a face or a s soccer ball or whatever. So, so yeah, I really only would have wanted a female Snorunt <laughs> because Frostless is amazing. One of my absolute favorites. 
I look. I really like Frostlass. All right, so. Oh boy, look. Uh. All right. Um. Let's finish this off nice and. Okay. We're good there. Geodude! Okay, this is perfect for Bald Cypress. Alright, there goes the Geodude. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll fight again. We'll fight Poochiana with Bald Cypress. Oh wait, I always forget just how bad the person is. Okay, that's a 20 base power move, I think. And the fact that it did that much is impressive. I'm proud of you, Bald Cypress. You know what we're not seeing are Slowpoke. <laughs> In a true twist of irony. And we got ourselves another King's Rock there. Ooh. Uh, I will gladly take that rappel right now. And actually, where I've got a couple of King's Rocks going... I'm gonna give one to Cottonwood for some flinch cheese with a uh, quick attack. And actually, on that related note, I'm gonna give the other one to Olive. Because I think I'm gonna want to use Olive in the battle against, uh, uh, blue haired guy. What's his name? Uh,. What? What is this? Uh, dum dum. No, not dum dum. Uh. Oh, proton. All right, there goes the cacnea. Uh, need arena. I'm gonna switch bald cypress in. I'm certain Cottonwood could probably take it, but I think Bald Cypress is going to be just a little bit more efficient. Yeah, and I also get the intent. <laughs> oh my goodness, did that do like two damage? Oh, that's going to do a ton of damage right there. Ooh. That actually did a lot more than I thought. That did a whole, like, seven damage. Alright, nicely done, Bald Cypress. Oh, Bald Cypress is so much easier to level up now that uh, she's a Gyarados. I think that those were actually her first battles since evolving, so that's kind of cool. Alright. So, yeah. I'm gonna put Olive and Larch up. Uh, I kinda wanna lead with Larch. Maybe to bait out some sort of attack. Proton! That's what his name is. The scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rock. I, dude, I forgot your name. How how bad do you have to be to where I forget your name? I can remember pretty much any other admin name or name of any other admin in any other villainous organization. Uh, with the exception of the Seven Sages, and that is a Voltorb. 
That is not something you expect to see every day. Oh good, Screech Mist. Alright, Larch. One. So that looks like it's four hits. Yeah, four hit. Three. Nice job, Larch. You the... whatever... woodland creature you're supposed to be. Alright, Zubat. Uh, definitely gonna put Olive in for this one. Uh, unfortunately I, I can't flinch the Zubat. Instead, I'm just gonna knock it out with a bite. Good golly, I forget just how high Olive's attack stat goes sometimes. Coughing. Uh, yeah, this is something I'm probably gonna want Olive to handle. Alright. Let's see if we can get the flinch train going. Yes! On the one hand, Toxic is a bit scary. On the other, the battle's nearly over, and... Olive has guts, and that just, oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm not going to have many opportunities for this, people, so let me take what I'm going to get. And Cacnea. Yeah, this, this is probably going to be some E, well, it would be easy if I hadn't overleveled Olive and I had Ember, but, you know. Probably still can take it out in one hit, thanks to Guts. Thank you, Toxic. And Olive's gonna get up to level 19. Nice. And that is Executive Proton down. Alright, so they continued their activities underground, blah blah blah. We just keep get getting bit by kids, uh, sorry, that was, uh, <laughs> I forgot that I had started a video exporting, uh, before I'd started recording, uh, so that was my, uh, computer switching over to tell me that it had finished exporting. So, yeah, that should be going up, uh, for me tomorrow, for you guys, yesterday, if I'm doing my math right. Wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Hey, Forrest, you handled yourself like a real anti-hero there. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Or, more accurately, you know, someone from the IRS got a hold of Giovanni's tax documents. Now that they've come back, I've got a bad feeling about this. In any case, it would be... It would greatly ple please me to make trainers for a po Um, to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Forrest. This is all I have now, but take it. Alright, I'm happy to get an Apricorn Ball. I, I love the Apricorn Balls. I think that they're such a cool thing. Alright. Uh, those are gonna be useless. White Apricorn. I think that gives me Moon Balls? Uh, I know this gives me Heavy Balls. Which, honestly... I don't really use Heavy Balls a whole lot. So, I'm gonna give him the Black Apricorns. Now the really tough part remembering to come back for my Pokeballs in a day. Oh, what's Mom have to say? Oh, oh, you, you spent my money again. Thank you, Mom. That's exactly what I hope you do, is spend all my money on useless stuff. I mean, um, something that I am certain will come in handy very much so. Alright, let's get everybody healed up before we see what Mom decided to purchase with my money. Hmm. 
But yeah, I guess the only other thing to really do in Azalea is... Well, first grind up and then challenge the gym. Which, I've been giving it some thought. I'm gonna use Cottonwood and Bald Cypress for the gym. Because I get Intimidates going. And I... I actually have a s super effective move for bug types. Oh, really, Mom? You bought a repel? A repel? That's the best you can give me? Whatever, beggars can't be choosers, blah blah blah. Oh, there went the repels. Effect. Ooh. On that note. Oh, now you give me an antidote, Balsa. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and grab these Africorns here before I forget. Uh, yeah, I think this episode is... If I'm thinking about this right and I've got a decent enough look on time, I think that this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but all I've really got before the gym is a little bit of grinding, getting most of the team up to level 21, which is my level limit. And then gonna go from there. So the last thing, actually, is we need to take a look at Juniper. Okay, relax Storm Drain. Um, I don't know if it's the Generation 4 Storm Drain, which is bad, or the Gen 5 Storm Drain, which is amazing. Uh... Regardless, Relaxed is a pretty good nature for shell offs. Uh, certainly one of the better natures it could have. And who knows? Maybe in the future it'll make for a, for a half-decent partner to Ash here, should that come about. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna chuck her in the PC. And... Prioritize one of the other females over her. So, hopefully the next time I see you guys, everyone will be all trained up and ready to go to challenge Bugsy. So that does it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and all my ad-libbing about the, uh, the IRS scheme against Giovanni. And I will see you on the next episode of Raiden's Pokemon Sacred Gold Wedlock Challenge.